Most of the remainder of this form, sections four through nine, are going to be up to the medical practitioner. Section 10, you will need to sign a date, put your signature on it, and keep in mind, every single page of this medical examination, you must put your last name, first name, middle initial, and date of birth. Now, let's take a look at this vision. I do have one thing to say about the vision. I have students that call and say, well, I'm colorblind and I couldn't pass some of the colorblind tests, but they said I could tell the difference between green and red. So am I okay or what's going to happen? I called the Coast Guard about that and they give you a very kind of a roundabout answer. It's not an exact answer. They say that is up to your evaluator and your evaluator will evaluate your medical examination and they will get back to you. So that's as concrete as I can get there. It, and yeah, I wish I could give a better answer about that actually. So here they're gonna test your vision. They're gonna make sure that you're, you can see colors and then the color vision test results. So here my student had failed the number of errors and then if color vision test is failed, can the applicant dis distinguish? red, green, blue, and yellow, and his was yes. So I still have to hear back from that student to figure out what the evaluator said, but that saga is to be continued. Section five, hearing. They're gonna go through, and this is all for the medical practitioner. They're gonna see what you can hear, and then they're gonna record that information down here. And again, applicant, last name, first name, middle, and date of birth. They're going to keep going down and then they're going to go through and they're going to check your how um, how in shape you are. Basically, I read all the instructions and they want you to be able to pull out a 50 foot one and a half inch fire hose fully extended with the nozzle and be able to put it in the position that you need to to fight a fire and then be able to hold it down when it's on. So they're going to check your body mass index, height, weight. And they're going to go through and go through these 17 check boxes on the left. And this is all your practitioner. I'm just kind of running through it. And then again, last name, first name, middle initial, date of birth here. And now demonstrate physical ability. They're going to want you, your practitioner is going to go over all of this with you. They want applicant has the physical strength, agility, and flexibility to perform all of the items listed above in the instruction table. They want to make sure that you're strong enough to do man overboard drills, fire drills, and just the routine drills and practice you're going to have to do on a ship. And if you have to carry it out in the real world, that they think you can do that. So all of this is completed by your practitioner. Applicant proof of identity. You can use a passport. You can use a driver's license. You can use a military ID or a TWIC card or a valid Merchant Mariner credential. Okay, we go down medical practitioner now. This is where the medical practitioner fills in all of their information license number, place office address stamp here. And then here's section 10. This is where you come in again and you sign this thing. You have to sign the bottom of this form and date the bottom of this form. And then right under that, again, your last name, first name, middle initial and date of birth. And you will have wrapped up this medical certificate form.